Okay, in this recording I want to um, fairly quickly go through the process of how to set up your ClickFunnels funnel on a custom domain. And so you're really going to need to open up three uh, tabs to do this. You'll, you'll need to have ClickFunnels open, um, you'll need to open up a, a tab for Cloudflare, and if you're not, not familiar with that we'll walk you through um, how to use that, and have opened up and logged into your um, domain manager wherever you are currently um, using your your domain purchase service. So uh, in my case, I purchased the domain that I'm going to move on to. Um, I purchased the domain that I'm going to move my ClickFunnels funnel onto. I purchased that domain from GoDaddy. Uh, so if you have those three uh, tabs open, um, and if you haven't already, when you go to Cloudflare, if you haven't um, created an account, go ahead and do that. It's completely free. Uh, once you've created an account, you can go ahead and click through uh, to log in. And you put in your name and your password. And I have several uh, domains in here, uh, but at the, at the start, go at the top and hit Add Site. This is where you're going to type in your domain. Um, so for mine, I'm going to be typing in RA Property Cleaners.com. You don't need any W's, don't need any HTTPs, just your domain.com. And I wouldn't have copied that. I'll hit Begin Scan. And basically what this is doing um, pretty quickly here is it's just looking at that domain and it's scanning to be able to find any instances of any uh, DNS records. So any records that you have, uh, like your MX records, your C names, um, anything there, it's it's taking a really quick uh, scan at that. And then we're going to go in and edit um, just a couple of those records that, that we're doing here. So just give it one second. Okay, now that's done, we can go ahead and hit continue setup. And we're going to come down here, and you can see already there are these two, um, these two records right here with, with clouds. We want to actually go ahead and X out of those. I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And we're going to come up here and do C name. And we're going to do an at symbol, and then we're going to type in target.clickfunnels.com. And then we're going to hit add record. And then make sure that your cloud is orange when you've done that. So basically, I just the, the one I first deleted was uh, an already existing instance of this. And so I removed it because I'm going to be doing another one. So so again, I, I, I did the at symbol. I picked CNAME, at symbol, and then target.clickfunnels.com and hit add record. Now this next one, I'm going to do another CNAME, and I'm going to do www. And then I'll do again target.clickfunnels.com. Leave it automatic TTL and hit add record. And then again, make sure that um, both those are orange clouds and I'll hit continue. We're going to go ahead and click free website. Um, I don't really know all the advantages of, of doing a paid website, but I know I haven't had any issues at all um, with my site performance um, when I've done free. So no issues there and hit continue. And then I have a couple uh, name servers that I need to replace, and this is where I'm going to basically copy these. So I'll start with this first one. I'm going to copy it and then take it over to my domain registrar, so where I purchased my domain. Um, so I've go ahead, I've gone ahead and already, um, you know, gotten to this point in my domain registrar uh, where I'm now picking my name servers and making it custom, and then I'm pasting in uh, these name servers that I need to change to. And once I've done that, I hit save. And then I'll go over here and hit continue. And then I'll go ahead and hit recheck. And it basically tells me it's, it could take a few hours. Um, and while that's rechecking, now I have two other things I need to do here within Cloudflare. Along the top here, if I come up here to page rules, I'll scroll down and I'll hit create page rule. And now here I'm going to type in www. And then again, the don't, whoops the domain name here so this is going to be ra property cleaners.com and i know i'm probably going kind of fast right now um, so if you just follow along with me each step by step and you can pause it and, and do the action that i teach uh, and then after you can uh, hit play and keep going so we'll do the domain www.yourdomain.com we'll do forward slash and an asterisk and then we're going to hit add setting and we're going to pick forwarding url and then select a 301 permanent redirect. And then we're going to type in https colon slash slash. And then let me grab this really quick. Copy this part. 
your domain, and then we're going to do a dollar sign and the number one. So basically what we're telling uh, Cloudflare to do in conjunction with our domain is um, anytime somebody types in www.ourdomain.com, we want to redirect that to a secure socket layer version. The reason why we're doing that is in this funnel, and, and really it's a, a good rule of thumb with any website um, at all, um, it's very good. Like consumers and, and uh, users who come and visit your site um, you know, want to see that you have secure socket layer protection, especially if you on your website or your funnel are asking for you know, personal information. If, if they're ever going to opt in for something and put in their name and their email and their phone number, um, or, or even greater you know, cause and importance for this, if someone's going to come through your funnel and purchase something, like they are looking to make sure that you have secure socket layer protection. So um, again, basically this just redirects so that any instance that they'll come to our website or our funnel, um, it will be secure socket layer protected. So we'll go ahead and hit save and deploy. Okay, and once that's done, we're gonna scroll back up to the top here and we're gonna go to crypto. And then you can see, sometimes you may see something different here, but under this SSL for secure socket layer, over here, right now, mine shows flexible. Yours may show something different, but we want to make sure that we've selected full as our option there. And once we've selected that, we can come back to overview and go ahead and hit recheck. I get this little red error, so it basically says I can only do that once per hour. Um, but we should be good to go there. So that's everything that we need in Cloudflare. Um, now if we go to ClickFunnels, uh, make sure you're logged in. We're going to go at the top here under Account. We're going to go to Custom Domains. And you'll see this option right here to add new domain. And for our case, we're going to go on this left side where it says Use an Existing Domain because I've already purchased my domain. Um, if, if you still need to purchase one, you can go through um, click funnels. It looks like this option is grayed out, so it's not available right now. But at, at different times, it, it is available. But for us, again, we're going to go to use an existing domain, and then we're going to go this manual advanced setup. Um, we're going to go ahead and type in our domain, which again is rapropertycleaners.com in our case. And then right here, root of URL, we're going to pick the starting point. So when somebody comes to, you know, rapropertycleaners.com, um, where do we want like that that page, what, where do we want them to start? What do we want essentially to be the home page? And so you just need to pick that, that first page that you want in your funnel. Um, if you haven't you know built out your funnel already, I advise you to just go and create a single page. Um, I, I usually start with that first page being essentially a cover page that says like, you know, this page is coming soon or something like that so that um, if people are coming to the site, um, they're not you know, entering in and, and viewing site content that may not be finished yet. Um, you may be in the middle of still building that, that site or building that funnel. Um, but anyway, so you go ahead and pick your root of your URL. Uh, so in, in our case here, scroll down here. Um, this is the one we're going to use, the RA Property Cleaners. And I have the home page right here. And then the 404 or error page. If there's ever an error when somebody <clears throat> tries to go to a page of your site or your funnel that doesn't exist, where do you want it to redirect? Um, you don't want to have an actual 404 page that shows up. Um, so by default, I usually go with the same page. Um, like if they're trying to type in a page that doesn't exist, um, just redirect them to the home page of the site. Um, and then uh, we do want to make sure to check this right here. So we are enabling secure socket layering. So we've done that in Cloudflare, and now we want to make sure we do it here um, in ClickFunnels. Um, then we'll go ahead and hit Create Domain. And then we can X out of this right here. And now we're going to scroll to the top and we're going to go to Browse Funnels. And we're going to go to that funnel that we've been working on here. So RA Property uh, Cleaners. We're going to head and click the little pencil to edit it. And you can see on this left-hand side, I have all my pages. And again, like I mentioned before, Anna, you may be in different um, you know, stages of the development of your funnel when you are you know, looking to place your funnel onto your custom domain. If you are, are just starting out, I usually advise you to have just created one page in your funnel and then go and place that page onto the custom domain. Uh, in my case, I'm doing a, a rebrand here for a client, so I already have all these existing pages. And the reason why I advise you to first start with placing it on the domain 
with a single page is um, there are several steps we'll need to go through. And if you have, like in my case, like 10 different pages here, I have to do those steps for every single page. Whereas if you start first with just a single page, it saves you a lot of work basically. So, so once we are into the funnel here, we're gonna go over to the top right where it says settings. And we are going to pick right here the domain, it's blank right now, and I wanna pick RA property cleaners. Um, and then for a path, uh, this is basically like like what what it, what what the path of the URL is going to be. So I'm just going to leave it at home. You need to have something here. You can't leave it blank. Um, I'll just do rapropertycleaners.com forward slash home is what it'll be, and then we'll scroll all the way to the bottom, and we'll hit save and update settings. Okay. And once that's done, we can go ahead and hit this. Um, this little gear, and this is where you're editing the, the page split test settings. So if you ever want to run a split test, um, you need to give a, a path for what your split test options would be. And I right now, I just want to make sure that this has the same path. And it says home. Scroll down and hit update page. Okay. So the home page is done now. If I go to the about page, you can see by default it's already taken this. So it says, you know, rapropertycleaners.com forward slash about. Um, it's already had that because, again, I had this URL up beforehand, and I'm just doing a rebrand. We're, we're changing the, the the logo and the main brand for the client, um, so it already held on to my about, but in your case, it probably hasn't, and so when you go to the second page, you don't need to go back to settings because you already did that, but you need to go to publishing, and you'll want to make sure that, again, this is the correct path that you want. Hit update funnel step. When you've done that, um, you also want to come to the gear here and make sure that again the gear path is showing the same as, as the uh, what you defined here in publishing and so basically with each subsequent page in my case I have a bunch more I'm gonna to go to each page and I'll do commercial as an example um, and I want to make sure when I go to publishing that I have the correct path I want there I hit update funnel step and then I want to make sure when I hit this gear that I have the correct path uh, there and again, mine already set with that, um, but, but yours are probably going to be off when you first see these, so you'll want to make sure. So just go through each page that you may have, and first go to publishing, make sure that that path looks right, and then go to the split test gear here, and make sure that path looks right. Once you've done that with your entire funnel, any steps that you have uh, in your funnel there, you can come back to Cloudflare. Um, and again, I, I already clicked this just recently, so that's why I'm getting this red error message. But you should be able to check here and see, you know, th this down here will be green if things are done correctly and if the name servers um, for your domain have been propagated correctly, which basically means um, that things have been moved so that your hosting for your, your site or your funnel is on Cloudflare. Um, you'll be able to see that that strip down there will be green. Or the other thing that you can do is you can actually just put in... Uh, your domain, pull up a window, put it in, and see what happens. See, mine right now says that the site can't provide a secure connection um, because it, it can't support secure socket layering right now. So basically, um, Cloudflare is right now, Cloudflare and GoDaddy are writing a secure socket layer certificate for me. That'll probably take maybe a half hour or an hour. So come back and check it. Um, but anyway, this, this should give you everything you need um, step for step to be able to get your funnel you know, completed and, and up onto your custom domain. Um, you know, feel free to reach out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.